Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to our world, this is The World Away. Today I'm going to be doing the next five stages of the fan home release of Build the Michael Bay movie version, Optimus Prime. My name is Optimus So I'm continuing with my countdown to New York Comic Con. Now, if you are in the New York facility next week, I'm going to be at the Fan Home booth on the Thursday. So if you are around, uh, be sure to find me and say hi. Uh, and that's why I'm doing the countdown at the moment. And I'm celebrating that countdown by doing most of the builds from Fan Home and Dear Astini. So today, doing the Optimus Prime. Now, if you remember last time, we uh completed the arm we didn't complete the arm we still got a lot to do on that today so i'm believing we're going to be doing uh extras on that i haven't actually looked at the magazines yet and then we're probably going to be moving on to the next thing now i've heard it might be the leg we're going to start on the other leg i think i'll quickly do a review at the end as well to show you exactly what we have built now i don't know if this is available you'd have to check this for yourself but check out the video description also a qr code on the screen but without further ado let's get cracking So here you go, this is stage 67. Here's the magazine, looking like this. And as you can see, we are gonna be doing uh, some more parts for the left arm. So a lot of details here that are gonna go onto place. So that's looking like that. So let's open this up. Now, a lot of you have probably noticed that my mat here, this is actually translucent, this isn't white. Uh, it's looking quite mucky and a bit worn down. I've actually got a new one coming today. So from tomorrow's video, you'll see a, a brand new uh, uh, cutting mat there. Should look quite nice. Okay, the first thing I want is this hinge joint here with a pin. Now, on my Patreon stream last night, on my channel member stream, uh, we had to put pins in another one of the builds, which unfortunately I lost the pin. So I'm hoping I'm not going to have a repeat of that today. What I'm going to do is put this in this side here, lining up all the holes. Perfect. And then I found holding this pin with pliers rather than tweezers will give a better chance of it not pinging off into oblivion. Because I'm going to be pushing this through this side here. Just like that. And then push that all the way through. Got my duck build pliers here which is going to help to do that but that is in place perfect now on this upper section here i've got this detail which is just going to go onto the three lugs that we've got here just lining those up and quite simply pushing that into place you don't need glue it's quite uh held tight there put that to one side and I'm going to be putting this top joint onto this section here. Now, this has got a D-shaped pattern, so it can only go in one way. It's going to go in this way, whoops, like that. But I do want to hold this in place, even though that's quite tight on its own, with some YP screws. So just put that in from the top. Perfect, that's in place. Now, bringing the arm back over, you can see this has got a ball joint on it. And that's where it's going to sit in that socket just there. So it's just going to lining it up and pushing it into place like that. Now, on top of that, I've got this guard to put on, which is, again, a keyhole pattern with a little notch on it. It's going to match that one there. This will dictate which way round this goes. Perfect. So that's fitting in just like that. And I'm going to want to hold that in with a KP screw. Excellent. And then finally, we're going to be covering that screw by putting this disc cover into place. We want the silver sections here onto these sides here. So if I just line it up and put it in this way, push it into position. Perfect. And as you can see, that's in. That's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 68, here is the magazine. Looking like this. We're going to be continuing on with this arm. We've got these details here that we're going to be piecing together like that. So at the end, that's how that's looking. And the first thing we want to do is we want to take this section here, which is quite symmetrical where everything is. On one side of this, I'm going to be putting this side. And on the other side of this, I've got this little cap to put on, which is going to go on this side. Now, this is the larger section here. We're going to need to know that 
because on the larger section here, I'm then going to be putting this detail here. It's just again a pushing. Oh, and it clips in. That was quite hard to push that in there. Let's put that to one side and bring over this pipe because I've got a cap just to put on the end of the pipe, just at this end here. And again, that just pushes on. So that's how that's looking. Then I'm going to be taking this whole pipe and that's going to be going into the slot that we can see just there. Again, it's a push in. Don't need glue. It's going to hold itself in there, no problems. Now, once we've got that, on this side, as you can see, we've got a lug, and I've got this section here, which has got a keyhole pattern on top just there. What I'm gonna to wanna to do is just put that on there like that. This way around, make sure it's the right way around. Uh, I'm gonna hold that in with one of these flange screws. It's perfect, that's in place. Now, on this D-shaped little pattern there, on the side, the little lug, we've got a D-shaped hole to push this section into. Again, it's handy having shape parts because they can only go in one way. So that's in now like that. And finally, we've got two more details to put in. I've got a cap to put over this section, which is gonna hide that screw. Again, it's got a notch inside it. So this one's gonna go on there like that. And the last thing to do is I've got this plate here. This does have different size hole for the different size lugs on each side. They're just gonna go in here and push in like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Wow, at the moment, this is like a speed build. <laughs> okay, stage 69. This is the instructions here. And we have got these plates here that we're gonna be putting together now and attaching these to the arm. So at the end, that's gonna look just like that. So just get this little pack open. Now with all of these parts, I haven't got any screws. So I'm guessing everything is now just slot in. So first thing I need are these two panels here and quite simply as you see we've got four lugs that are going to go together just like this to pin this and make one unit like that so this unit we've got is going to go on top of here into these two holes so that the top of this is overhanging as you can see there and then on top of this I've got another detail to put in into the two holes just underneath it like this push that in. So now that's looking like that there. Another detail into the two holes at the bottom here, which is this one. Again, it's a push in. Excellent. I've got this detail here going into the hole just at the top. There is a located lug just down the bottom there, so you can only get this in one way. Perfect. That's clipped in. Bring over the arm. Armless being bringing over the arm. <laughs> this is just gonna go these two lugs into the holes here. So line them up and I'm gonna get these pushed in. Excellent. So they're in just like that. Let's put that to one side. I'm just gonna take this detail now. I've got this lovely bit of blue trim to put into place. So there is located lugs here, so this can only go in one way. It's gonna go in, oops, just line this up, just like that. That's how that's looking. And finally, I've got this piece, which is just gonna go at the top there. I've just done that the wrong way around in the order of the instructions, but you can still get it in if you put that blue piece in first. Now this piece, if we've just put this piece in here, if I just turn that on its side, you see we've got two more holes there. This is gonna go into those holes with the lugs there. So just line this two up. And push this one into place. Just like that. That's looking good, isn't it? That's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 70, here's the instructions. Looking like this. Loads of toys, look at them. And we've got the left arm, some more panels to put on for the left arm. So we're just gonna be clipping these into place. This is gonna be a quick stage. And once again, I've got a detail here, which we're just gonna be pushing into that round indented section here, which is like a pulley. So I'm just gonna wobble that in, cause that's quite hard to get in. There we go, that's in. Underneath it, 
in this circle, I've got a smaller one with a tiny peg on it that needs just to be pushed in like that. Then I've got this panel, which has got three lugs on it. As you can see, it's going to go into the three lugs here. So just line everything up and again, push that in. That's looking good. Bring over the arm again. And as you can see, we've got four lugs here, two small ones, a large one and a small one there. They're going to match one, two, three, four on this side. So just line all of these up. Once again, just push that into place. So now that's looking like that. That looks really good. I like that. The last thing we've got to do is we've got this detail here. That's just going to go onto the two holes that we can see just on this section. So it's just a case of lining them up. Once again, pushing that in. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So this is the last stage of this pack. We've whizzed through this, haven't we? So I'm guessing this is probably going to finish the arm. Let's check it out. Yep, we've got last panels here to put into place. So when they're in, that's how that's looking. This one does have actually lots of small parts, as you can see. Okay, first thing we're going to do though, I'm going to take this panel here and I'm going to be putting this bit of trim just into this section here. This is pretty much what we've been doing all the way through this build. Push it into place. So that's now looking like that. Turn it over. And I've got a back plate now to put on. That's going to be going on this way, just over the lugs in the center. So we've got this section at the bottom. That's held in with IP screws. They are silver screws, got them here. I'm going to use my PH1 screwdriver on these. That's one. And that one's two. Once we've done that, we can put that to one side. Because I'm going to make some hinges now, this is what these hinges are looking like. I need to put this into the channel just here. So that's fitting in perfectly like that. I'm holding that in with some tiny pins looking like this. Now, I'm going to see if I can get away with that using tweezers on these, but I'm putting that in, whoops, putting that in with the smooth side down first. Then I'm going to get my hammer this time. Just hammer that in. Just like that. So that's good. We've got a hinge. I need to repeat that on the other side. So let's take another one here and another one of these hinge parts. Put them together like that. Once again, one of these tiny pins. Balance it in there. Get me hammer. Perfect, that one's in as well. So that's two of those created. There's one other thing I need to create here, which is another hinge that so we've got this part here. And I wanna put the two hinges we created together into this section. So that's looking just like that there. And then we've got a larger pin now. Now I'm happy because they've actually gave us a spare pin. I wish I'd known about that yesterday because the pin for my other build that I had. <laughs> I did never find it. So so it's just a case of lining these up. This is going to be the, the tricky bit, if you like. And then we're, when we're happy they're all engaged, I'm going to whack this in with my hammer. Just like that. So there are those two are in place. Perfect. Now on the back of this section, I've got a plate to put on. This is what that plate's looking like. It's going with the shorter side facing the back. So I'm just gonna push these into these channels here. That's good. So that's what the plate looks like now when that's in. That was quite fiddly actually. Now, on this end, I've got another little hinge to put in, which is gonna go in here just like this. Actually, it goes round the other way. So if I'm holding it, probably best on the top camera, if I'm holding it like this, the open side of this is going to be on this side here. And I'm holding that in with a um, QM screw. Got this in the bag here. And just screw this in. That's good. It's coming out the other side there. So that is a lot of hinges all in one place. Okay, this side here, is going to go into the two holes that we can see just there. So it's a case of just lining these up 
and pushing these in. This isn't going to be easy. No, it is going to be easy. Look at that. That's just fitted perfectly in there. So now this is on a hinge. Bring over the arm. And I'm going to want to put this hinge here into the keyhole pattern that I've got just there at the top. Hopefully you can see that on one of the cameras. And it's going to be held in from the other side with an AM screw. Now these are silver screws. Got them in a bag here. Now I am going into metal, so I have put some oil on this. Get that in nice and tight. Excellent. And there we go. So that's the final piece in. As you can see, this is now able to move because we're on that hinge there. That looks pretty cool, actually. And uh, that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. And there you go. That is how that arm's looking. Pretty good, isn't it? And obviously we've got all poseable thumbs and all the fingers move. And it looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> I like that. Once again, if you want to get this for yourself, check it out. I don't know if this is available. It's in the video description. There's also a QR code on the screen. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.